I felt like at one point where I was just like, well, you know, if I can just make it out of the system, you know, that'd be great. If I can turn 18, quit the system, it's great. And then see where I can get a job, probably see if I can still go to college. Are there a lot of teenagers that are in the situation you're in that need homes? Oh, all the time. Um, I mean, not all of them are going into foster care for the second time. But you realize there are a lot of teens in the system that no one is wanting to adopt them. And it's really hard when no one's wanting to take you because then you keep feeling rejected, keep feeling like you, you aren't wanted. We were just told from the beginning, he's just here to visit. Don't expect much. Mm -hmm. Don't say anything. Like, we want you to come live with us. We want to adopt you. Anything like that, we were told. Don't say it. Let him choose. Let him decide on his own. We had an 18-month-old, and she was, um, she was leaving our home to be reunified with Grandma, and um, she and Brogan were pretty tight. And... Um, it, it hit him hard. It hit him really hard that she was leaving our home. He asked me to bring her by the high school one more time before I dropped her off with Grandma. And I texted him and I said, we'll be in the parking lot at Lewis Palmer in five minutes if you want to come out. And he did. And um, he was holding her and he was giving her a little pep talk like, it's going to be great be so good, start walking, you know, just the whole, you can do this. And um, and he put her back in her car seat and buckled her in. And I gave him a hug, cause I knew this was hard. And I just said, I hope your afternoon's okay, buddy. Hang in there. And he just lost it. It was, it was really a defining moment for him where this sucks. And I just, at that moment, the Holy Spirit fell on me, and I was, and that's what I said to him. This is the part of foster care that sucks, and you do not need to be in foster care one more day. You are meant to be a Lewis, and we want you to be a Lewis. And I just went after it and spoke, spoke to him, and he was like wiping his eyes, and he was like, yes, mama, yes, mama. <laughs> You know, once he made the decision that he wanted to be part of our family, then I, I tried to get myself in a place where I could be uh, not only what he needs from here forward, but to be able to even reach back into those times where he was not able or did not have uh, that in his life. And I want to pray a father's blessing over you. Um, Rogan, I bless you as a son, and as you officially and legally or now in the Lewis family. Uh, we welcome you and accept you into our family. You are part of our family now. And, you know, we've done this uh, from the day that you came in to our home. And we believe in the missional foster care vision of Hope and Home, which uh, simply put is just to bring a child into your home and treat them like they are one of your birth children. And uh, that's what we've done. And that foundational scripture um, of, that Hope and Home uses is, is a foundational scripture for us in our home as well. And it's, uh, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And Brogan, we promise to partner with God to fulfill Jeremiah 29 11 over your life and over your destiny uh, in Jesus name the last 17 years you have been in our hearts and we, we didn't know who, what, where, when 
but I really believe that God was preparing a home for you, and now you're in Lewis. And so welcome home. There's so many teens that are in foster care that are still waiting for that family. And it's, I'm lucky enough to have found that family. But I'm more excited, I feel like, when they find a family. Because then I know more people have been helped. And more teens aren't sitting there waiting for the family. And I know what it feels like to have a family, and I just want them to feel that. So it's. Well, I'm. <clears throat> You're killing me here. <laughs> it's okay. Um, uh, um, it's okay. I just can't imagine. Sorry. <laughs> Don't get this on you. In the beginning, I never thought I would see the day of having a family. Pain, doubt, and rejection filled my heart every day. Only when a best friend became a brother, his parents loved me with all their hearts, that I realized that they were my family. I knew then that I could say I had a family, my own family. There's no breaking us apart. This day filled me with such happiness and joy. I realized that maybe this wasn't just a great day for me, but for other foster kids as well. As rough as it is, there's hope. In the end, I can't imagine this not happening at all. This is my life, nothing can change that. I'm thankful for everything that has happened to me. I can never regret anything. So thank you, Mom, Dad, Kay, Ashley, Savannah, Cohen, and Ryan. You guys started a new chapter in my life that I will never forget. I love you all.